In a constant pursuit for finding the best methodologies for gardening and farming, utilizing the resources I have at my fingertips, integrating animals in composting methodologies, biofermentation, utilizing plants that are around us, herbs for pesticides. Natural farming has some amazing things to offer us, inputs and pesticides, fertilizers that we can use. But what if I told you there was a methodology of planting specific trees and plants where we could essentially eliminate fertilizers. We can plant the fertilizer along with our target crops. We can use nitrogen fixation, plant accumulators that draw up minerals from deep within the soil that break apart compacted hard clay and sand and rock and bring those nutrients up into the biomass, which can be used for mulch and composting in place that biomass for our plants. That's precisely what Centropic Agroforestry sets out to do. Here in a dry climate, Mediterranean, Southern California climate, I'm integrating a lot of C4 photosynthesizers, succulents such as the ice plant, pencil tree, jade, senecio, also known as skyscraper. This plant holds a ton of moisture in the leaves and makes a really great biomass for chopping and dropping. Also creates a protective layer across the surface. It requires very little water to keep it alive. Aloe vera, which also holds a ton of moisture in the leaves, can be chopped and dropped as a biomass. It's also great, of course, for a sunburn here in the hot exposure to the sun. We have another variety over here of aloe vera. This is tree aloe really fast growing biomass plant it grows tall but we can chop and drop this again for the biomass to help support our other target trees here growing with this diablo aloe vera we have some sensitive plant that recoils to touch this is also known as the mimosa pudica a nitrogen fixing plant that makes a ground cover as well Dwarf Key Lime is one of our target crops here. Makes a great margarita and garnish for Mexican food. A couple food forest all-stars here. We have the classic mother of the food forest, the banana, often grown for the biomass and not even the food production value in agroforestry. This biomass holds a ton of moisture and this can be sectioned off at the bottom, chopped down to regenerate a lot of growth on these pups down below. And this really makes a wonderful biomass. And right next to it, we have the Canna musifolia. This is the giant canna. It has these beautiful flowers, but can also be chopped and dropped just like the banana and will regenerate very quickly and grow a lot of biomass as well and kind of pave the way as a pioneer. Hibiscus here in the overstory, a really great hydrating medicinal drink to make from the flowers high in electrolytes. Some different grasses, lemongrass, lantana, shrub is great here. Drought tolerant in the desert climate as well. In the understory, we have some pineapples is one of our target crops for the understory. Bananas supporting that. We've got some vetiver grass. This is a great stabilizer for the hillside. Has deep roots that go down to really hold in the side of a hill where we might have erosion. We've got a Moringa. This is a great accumulator as well. We're growing it for the medicinal leaves, but can also be used as a biomass plant. Sugar cane as a target and also uh, a biomass plant, really easy to grow, creates a ton of biomass. Castor bean, which is commonly considered invasive, but in the right context in agroforestry is an awesome pioneer creates a lot of biomass and grows in very degraded soils. It has a tap root that pulls up a lot of those minerals, mines them up into the biomass and creates these massive leaves. It's also creating some shade for the understory and some of our seedlings that are growing in. We have the classic Mexican sunflower support plant used very commonly in agroforestry systems, grows a ton of biomass, this mulch is higher in NPK value than cow manure, which is amazing. 
Here we have a loquat that does great here in Southern California, loves this climate, doesn't require a ton of water and produces just a ton of fruit. Often overlooked, I see a lot of these trees around uh, just completely being neglected with loads of fruit on them, but they're absolutely delicious fruit.